Well, it's Saturday, it's such a lovely day. Uh, heavy rain squalls, strong easterly. And we're well, we gonna go to town for lunch. Oh, it's uh, Sunday morning. Rain's eased off, still light rain, but uh, I think I'll take a load out to the boat at Marsden Cove. It's about three nautical miles that way, or 45 minutes by road. And uh, lawn continues to fill in, a bit patchy, but filling in. Oh, the yard's still open, let's uh, press the key. And they got a warning about the wind, but uh, it is windy. Not too bad, uh, not a lot of rain, just a light skiff now and then, but obviously nothing here at the moment. Uh, here we are over here, past the big uh, butchering trailer. Uh, down there is some booze, uh, that kind of stuff over here. Uh, linen, wet weather gear. Uh, we've got some more bedding. I did fear I'd be having to put all the stuff on in the rain. Fortunately that's not the case. And we can do it just in a cold wind instead. Oh, this is the skylight above the helm position. It's in place, bonded. Well, the rain stayed away, which is great. I thought I'd be doing it in the rain. So we'll uh, let ourselves out and uh, go and catch up with Paul for uh, brunch. Okay, I need some uh, more dock lines, so the uh, hot rod's covered in rope at the moment. I'm sure I can find something useful. Well, the marina office is upstairs and it's uh, a nice view from up here. Uh, very nice classical boat there, still for sale. Uh, Pier D, which is this one, looking pretty empty. So we may or may not end up spending a night on here. Well, I'm all out to Earth is just on the other side of the pilot launch, which Possibly is refueling, and there's uh, the marina or pool's establishment here. Just make out a couple of the masts from the hard stand over the wee uh, hillock there.
is a truly special moment. Well, mate, we've come a long way into... Well, it's uh, Wednesday. Yesterday was a day of action. Not only a very busy day at work, but uh, a number of uh, emails and a few phone calls. And the great news is Waka Waka is now ours. So the transaction was completed. Uh, I'll load more stuff on. Uh, at this stage of the plan is she's relaunched on Friday. Uh, and that will allow the rudders with their new seals to be installed. So it's been an awful long time coming. It's uh, been very frustrating at times, but looks like we're finally there. So all good things come eventually. Oh, it's a cold, clear winter's day, and uh, the weather's probably not going to hold through to the weekend, but we'll uh, hope for the best. Right, uh, another bag of wet weather gear, uh, kitchen stuff, and some of the boat box. We'll see what we can fit in. Uh, still have a ton of stuff to go through, and uh, not all of it's going to go on the boat. And a pile over here still as well. Right, heading into Port Nico Marina. Talk to Blair, the manager, and uh, just make sure we've got everything uh, organised. And we're in the second pier down there. Way down there is uh, Catman 2, still there. Our berth is uh, third along on the uh, right hand side. So just in front of the monohull with the green sail covers and this side of uh, Sunset, the launch. Right, well I've got the code, I've got some, a uh, couple of dock lines we'll put on just to make it easier to tidy, tie up and uh, sort everything else out once we figure it out. Oh, here's our berth, it's uh, 16 metres long, boat's only 14, uh, very wide, can't quite put her in sideways. It does have a post here we've got to watch out for. Right, well we'll uh, put on a forward enough spring on the starboard side because of my back in in this case of just picking it up and uh, putting on the mid sheet sorry putting on the uh, middle cleat midships cleat on the boat and uh, we should be able to hold her in place while we sort everything else out right 20 millimeter dock lines may not be exactly where they end up but uh, it'll do for a start it certainly is a beautiful winter's day. It'd be nice if we had these every day I wasn't working. Oh, we'll head to Marsden Cove now. Pop some more stuff on. Waka Waka. Well, first I think we'll go down and uh, have a look through the fence at Catman 2. It's just there. Oh, well, there she is, uh, looking very tidy. Looks like uh, might have been Antifeld. Paint still looks good. And can't really see from here to here, which will be on the other side. But uh, looks ready for a, another season. Well, next time I stand here, I should be able to see a large white catamaran in here. Let's check with the marina. It's fine to put the boat on debirth uh, over night on Friday so we'll go and have lunch uh, here. Right so uh, back to the hard stand. Uh, I don't know how many trips I've done here in the last week, it was probably the fifth. Right that lot, that lot which is more wet weather gear and a new extendable boat hook, really long one and a deck wash brush because the boat is filthy. So rudders will go back in with their new seals uh, when the boat's lifted. Right, this is the uh, wardrobe on the starboard hull. So there's six full sets of wet weather gear there with uh, tops and uh, bib trousers. This is the wee cupboard <clears throat> underneath the helm. So we know that the door is loose. Tighten that up. Oh, another one of those fixes it takes less time to do than to talk about it, so all good again. 
catch was also loose so I've tightened that up and <coughs> that was rolling around and all good now. Oh, I can't resist fixing things so this is the uh, I don't know, carpenter head I suppose for the Dyson <coughs> and the brush where it's got to over here on the turning and pulled apart so electric motor uh, to the drive here and certainly things look pretty rusty not optimistic oh, oh I've got the motor and drive out it does turn so maybe some lubrication will get it going again not wild and optimistic but we'll give it a try oh, I can't find any CRC uh, I'm sure I can liberate some from home We've well, emptied those boxes. <coughs> Have some alcohol up in uh, the shelves here. Box of kitchen stuff under there. Oh, I've popped the box over here in the meantime. A uh, box of electronics and kitchen bench. Not too untidy. Here's my 18 volt uh, water blaster, which we'll uh, use later. Well, I think we'll head home. Working all day Thursday, Friday afternoon, she's supposed to go back in. Well, it's been a beautiful day. Um, bit of an emotional roller coaster, really, because I got home and Marsden Co. Marina rang me and said because the owner's representative hadn't made a firm booking for her to be relaunched, they're going to maintain the trailer on Friday and Saturday. Uh, however, a bit of last minute uh, reorganisation, it looks like she can probably go in tomorrow. And I'm going to work all day, but uh, Paul has volunteered to be the owner's representative. So uh, we might still be fine for Matthew coming on Friday and us having a celebration. It was a rainy day when she came in. It's a rainy day when she's ready to go back in. What a lot of ready to splash. Trailers underneath. Rudders are in. Shore power's off. taking it the wrong way. Nah, they're just going to turn it around.
and splash. Right first.
Well, here she is, and Paul, who's here, uh, was instrumental in uh, being my representative to get her in and uh, captained over here. Oh, beautiful uh, sunset. Uh, boats in the water, captain's happy. <laughs>